Meanwhile, let's take a look, return here to Indianapolis and take a live look outside. It's a very comfortable evening. It is a good night to enjoy a Friday stroll outside. We have with us now, meteorologist, uh, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown. Right. Um, are we going to see more of this? Um, you know what? A lot more of it. Today's fantastic. Tomorrow's a little shaky because we have heat, humidity, and mm -hmm. storms. Um, but as we get into Sunday, even better than today. Beautiful. Upper 70s, dry air, sunshine. Looks great. Okay. Yeah, so lots of great weather coming our way. Um, all right, so tonight is a big night. You know a lot happening. You have the Marion County Fair starting, and you also have the Indiana Black Expo concert um, that's happening there at Carroll, uh, Carroll Stadium. Temperatures uh, will be in the 80s for this concert. It's going to become cloudy if we're not cloudy already. There's some peaks of sunshine right now. Um, straight shower chance pretty late. Um, the shower chance is fairly low. As we look live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you can see that cloud cover beginning to thicken over the area. Right now, there's some rain on radar. It's not in the state of Indiana. Most of that sits off to our west, uh, out to our west and to our north. Temperature is not impacted by this in Indianapolis, but you are definitely impacted as you look into Chicago at 73, 86 for um, Indianapolis and about 87 as we look to Bloomington. Temperatures near normal for this time of year, pretty typical. South flow back with us, so although humidity isn't incredibly high, not incredibly low either. We're feeling some humidity. This feels like a typical summer day. Plans tonight, maybe you're not headed out at all. You're hanging out at home, doing a little grilling out. Temperatures stay in the 80s, cloud cover stays with us, and winds remain light. Our next disturbance moves in tomorrow. This one will bring rain. There were some forecasting models trying to put a rain chance in the forecast for you this evening. I want to show you how that plays out. I grabbed the best model for the job. Um, this is uh, what we call our HRRR model. It's a model that grab the, grabs the storm where it is right now. You see all that activity sitting to the north, and it shows us what happens to it next. So, going hour by hour, it does show this rain moving into the state. But staying north of the Lafayette Kokomo Muncie line, bringing some scattered showers there. At most, a stray shower for Indianapolis 465 loop. Most of the activity stays north as it runs into some issues as it tries to move into the state and moves through the state. Overnight tonight, because of the rain, because of the cloud cover, temperatures are pretty mild in the mid 70s, mid to upper 70s for us. Tomorrow, there is a low in risk for severe weather for the entire state. Isolated strong storms in this forecast, heavier downpours of rain and the potential for severe weather here as we go through the day. Check it out, 4 a.m. Showers become more numerous. Showers, thunderstorms here. This system sitting mainly north initially. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, we'll see this system begin to diminish. That allows temperatures to warm up. I think the bulk of the rain happens before noon tomorrow. And then we'll see um, another disturbance begin to move in on your Saturday night. This one sitting more south, bringing showers and thunderstorms moving across the southern tip of the state. This one is not a widespread event. It's an incredibly isolated event. Tomorrow's forecast. We're going to keep our temperatures in the 80s for us, mid to upper 80s. 86 to 90, depending on your location here. Hensley Legal Group 8 day forecast. Temperatures warming up a bit tomorrow to the mid to upper 80s. Cooling down on Sunday with lower humidity at 78. That event is short lived. By Tuesday, we bring back heat, humidity, and by Tuesday night into Wednesday, we once again track showers and thunderstorms.